Whenever I left, it was a big weight lifted off my shoulders. Um, but when I say weight, I mean the, the weight of this legal process, not the weight of Mrs. Murphy's life being lost. I want to make that really clear because that's something that will always be with me. Well, we have seen her in the courtroom all week, but for the first time, we're hearing from Redonda Vaught, the nurse on trial who was convicted today for a patient's death. Vaught spoke to us this morning before learning of her conviction on lesser charges. She had been charged with reckless homicide. The jury found her guilty of criminally negligent homicide and gross neglect of an impaired adult. News Channel 5's Chris Davis has been at the courthouse all week for us. Yeah, Chris, how did Redonda Vaught actually react when that verdict was read? Well, Rory, that was really what was striking about it all. If you followed the trial, you know, on Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday during testimony, Redonda was incredibly emotional at times, visibly weeping and putting her head on the table. That wasn't the case today when the verdict was read. And afterwards, she told reporters two things. One, she will always be just emotional and moved by the mistake that she made in the Charlene Murphy case. But two, she's relieved that this is finally, this legal process at least, is finally over. Nothing that the district attorney said yesterday is worse than anything that I've said to myself. So, number one. Number two, it's been three and a half years waiting for this process to be done within the legal system. And so, I am very happy that that part is just over with. Vaught was found guilty of gross neglect of an impaired adult and criminally negligent homicide, which was the lesser charge of the state's original reckless homicide charge. Vaught mixed up medication when treating patient Charlene Murphy, who was hospitalized at Vanderbilt for a brain bleed. Instead of giving her a sedative, Vaught administered a paralytic that was suppressed her breathing and movements. The district attorney's office praised the jury's decision and had a message for nurses who felt under attack during this trial. We want Davidson County to know that we, as the DA's office, do not prosecute on lies. We prosecute on the facts. And the jury heard all the facts in this case, and they rendered a verdict accordingly, and we thank them for that. This was not a case against the nursing community. This was about the actions of one individual. Now, Redonda Vaught is still out on bond, meaning she will be a free woman until May 13th when she'll have to come back here to the courthouse for a sentencing hearing. She could face multiple years behind bars. Now, meantime, I asked the district attorney's office, are they concerned about the precedent this could set for nurses that make mistakes on the job? They say they are not concerned that this was just about one woman, but a lot of nurses following this case see it much differently. For that part of the story, let's turn to News Channel 5's Kelsey Gibbs, who is live at Vanderbilt University Medical Center. Kelsey. Hey, Chris. Yeah, absolutely. We, we spoke with some of those nurses after the verdict, and some of them just said they did not want to go on camera. They didn't even want to give us their names out of fear of retaliation from the state, but they were visibly shaken, saying this decision will change the profession of nursing forever. The vast majority of nurses really feel like I am redonda. I could be redonda. This could happen to me. It will give us the um, impression that society doesn't support us, that the judicial system doesn't support us. And this is supposed to be one of the most noble professions and one of the most highly honored professions. And if your society and community doesn't support you, then what's the point in doing it? It was not the verdict these nurses were hoping for as they showed up every day to support former nurse Redonda Vaught's trial. When the verdict was read, everyone remained calm, but outside in the hall, some were speechless and others again did not want to go on camera, but telling us this was not justice. Nurses not just from Middle Tennessee lined the halls and sat in the courtroom to support Vaught. Erica is a nurse who traveled from Las Vegas. She's been following the case from the beginning and she says she's been at the trial all week. Ideally, she should be exonerated and Vanderbilt should be held accountable for their portion of systems failures in this. She's already lost her nursing license. That's plenty. That same nurse telling us the only positive that comes out of this is that more nurses will be extra vigilant at work because she says, and quote, they're just downright terrified that something like this could happen to them. 
For now, reporting live outside the Vanderbilt University Medical Center, Kelsey Gibbs, News Channel 5. Kelsey, thank you. And again, Radon Devant will be sentenced in May. You can see her entire comments from this morning on newschannel5.com.